Oh my God. Hey everybody. My name is Jared Bendis and this is CES 2020, the last video, episode 10. My name is Jared Bendis and we have been doing this now for ooh, some time, wandering around the virtual exhibitor directory, looking at those things, making fun of them, seeing which ones are our highlights, which ones we'd want to buy, which ones we want to pursue at a later date, and noticing that the world has changed a bit. I really went through the database to look for major companies that I normally see at CES, and they're just not here. There's a lot of companies that just said, we're not going to do it this year, and you're probably right. I mean, it's kind of a weird one. I'm seeing a mix of good and bad. I'm probably being a little more cynical than you normally see me in these videos, and that's because I don't get to touch and be converted. You have to be converted by touching the items and see what they've got. And you're also seeing a lot of people who really don't know how to market their products. And the funny part is, is when I'm at the show, they don't want to market their products either, which is why I do what I do. I, I talk to them for a few minutes, I look at their product, and I go, here's what you have, ladies and gentlemen, which is what I normally do. Uh, the problem here is, is that instead what you're seeing is, is these mediocre videos that are just, they just don't do a good job of explaining in one minute what it takes. And um, I find that, I find that sad. But we have one more round of material to do. I don't know how long this one's going to take. I, I, my, I've dedicated that this will be the last video. So we'll see how long it goes, unless I can come up with something else in the back of my head. Um, I do want to point out before I get into the, the standard stuff, I did kind of look at some of the things online and a couple of the show darling I items that are kind of funny was LG announced to transparent OLED uh, screens. And this, of course, you've got these transparent uh, monitors that you're going to be seeing in places which are cool, but you know, there you go. Uh, we're also going to see that uh, GoPro, which is not a booth, has uh, used the effect that there's accelerometers inside of their cameras to allow you to use the accelerometers as triggers, which is kind of neat. So there's like an extra button in there. And so if you have a GoPro camera, if you've got the new GoPros, there are actually cool things you can get by updating the firmware. So instead of uh, announcing sort of uh, a new product, uh, they are new products come out in the fall. What they're doing is they're ad announcing new features. And it's kind of fun because I have some cool GoPro stuff. So I got to look into that. And then the last thing I, which I couldn't find was that PopSocket apparently has a MagSafe PopSocket that goes on the back so that iPhones can still uh, remotely charge, which that's pretty cool. Um, or wirelessly charged. So if you, and that's kind of a neat one. I'll be wanting to check out their MagSafe uh, pop socket. So I'm a big pop socket fan. So we'll see what they've got. All right. Let's see what we've got. Pro Toys Company LED. Uh, they're a startup in digital content creator from our know how multi camera control to create the special photo taken now. We support, I, it does not even make any sense. Um, that literally looks like I'm missing words. Selfie Extreme looks cool. Let's take a look at what it does. And that's what it does. So it's a camera with multiple lenses that allows you to zoom, zoom, zoom. That's, that's all they have. That is so weird. They have a very strange sentence that's missing certain items but it's called pro toys maker let's see what it is and and if it's if it's real um ah <laughs> uh, yes 404 um that is so funny let's just see what else we've got they've got a facebook page they've got a twitter account they have an instagram account they have a youtube page um, let's take a look at this one. Uh, wow. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I can't do anything with this one. Next. I, I really, I, here I am trying to show off how cool this is and not enough information. Jackery Inc. Now I've, I've seen Jackery before. And I, I bring it up because it's one of a, a several lines of products, the only ones that I, I knew of in here. And basically, they make solar generators and portable power stations. And, you know, we live in a world where you don't need gasoline. Sometimes you just need a good old uh, solar panel and a portable power station. And if you look at some of these products, they are really awesome. I mean, so much of what we do these days is 
you know, dust portable power. And, you know, some of them are inverters where you have to plug in AC, but so many devices we have are DC where you can just plug in USB or plug in 12 volt and go from there. And so I love this. I can't, I think this is one of the ones I was going to get. Um, and you start looking at these, like, you know, you know, how, how many amp hours in them and how big they are. And they're pretty cool. These giant battery packs, but you know, I do a lot of stuff on the go and obviously not now, right now I'm just trapped in my house, but I do a lot of stuff on the go. Look at that. They're actually using a hot plate. That's, that's impressive. Showing it use a hot plate is really, really, really impressive. Uh, but yeah, I know I love, I love good solar generators and I love good portable power stations. And I just, I just think when you start doing as much field work as I do, you kind of fall in love with these. Um, and there you go. I, I don't have much to say about them other than that, you know, they're really, really cool. And I, 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 I bought a small one and I won't think I'll buy a big one. All right. Self safe LLC is a stylish, sporty USB emergency identification bracelet designed to protect you and your family wherever you are on the road or abroad. Our 8 gigabyte drive holds all of your important information, medical, financial, insurance, and more. No internet needed, not in the cloud, secure, encrypted, and password protected. All right? So it's a flash drive. <laughs> so, okay, but I'm sure there's more to it than that. Or maybe there isn't. Is it just an 8 gigabyte password protected flash drive? Let's take a look. Welcome to SelfSafe. SelfSafe is the most convenient way to organize your medical and personal information. Take SelfSafe with you wherever you go, so all of your information is accessible instantly. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to set up and use the files on your SelfSafe device. We'll start by accessing the contents of SelfSafe. Then we will take a quick look at the contents of the disk and create a new password. Next, we will open the SelfSafe file and enter some information. We will save the file and make a backup copy. All right, so really? And I want to go back to this, and I don't think they're going to watch this video, my video, talking about their video. You're showing people your product, and you couldn't make a new video? You just had to show, like, an introduction to how to use the damn thing? Like, you know, I'm not going to, yeah, it, I'm just scoffing at it. Um, it's cool that they have this, and it's neat that it's, it's password protected. Um, I don't know how well an emergency bracelet is um, if... You have to give someone that password. If I pass, you know, I, you know, it's it's not like a metal or bracelet um, sort of thing. It's kind of neat that you have it with you. It's kind of neat that it's, you know, it's secure and it's filled with data, and that's kind of a cool thing. There's no cloud involved, but you know, I, I I'm I'm I thought I would be impressed, and I'm not. All right, Lutron. I have to be very very clear here. I am a big fan of. Uh, as a Cassetta by Lutron. The reason I am a big fan is that good portions of my house uh, are done using their technology. They were done using their technology before I started doing reviews of their technology. So uh, they said they did send me some product, by the way, at a later date. But I was a, I was a customer beforehand, and that is not what I'm using right now. So this is not a paid endorsement. Uh, but I will tell you that I have spent a lot of money uh, putting these lights in my house and. It's really, really cool. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of the, the, the smart dimmer is kind of neat because you can kind of go up and down. I, I'm i just a fan of just replace everything, damn it. Um, you do need to make sure that your lights are compatible. Uh, when I first started replacing the lights with the smart dimmers, what you were finding was is that they weren't designed to be dimmed. So I had some lights that would buzz and other types of things. But now that uh, I've replaced, I had to replace some lights for that. Uh, but I'm actually sitting in a room right now. My This is my office. I don't actually have a um, an, uh, an echo in here, which is kind of funny because I would I haven't been all over the house, but this is the one room where there's no uh, smart device telling me what to do. But what I can do, if I if I bring up the um, uh, Amazon app, I'm trying to avoid saying her word, uh, if I bring it up and I come over, oh, I don't even know, need to go there. I'm not going to go to the Amazon app. I'm going to go to the Lutron app since this is a Lutron device. And what I can find here is that there's my office, and I can uh, bring the lights down via my phone. And I can bring them up, and I can do that. And it's simple as that. And now that I have the app, I can actually uh, interface that, and I can use voice control in the rest of the house and make really smart things that things turn on and things turn off. 
um, and it's really really cool and replacing the switches and replacing you know these types of things is great and they're really really cool you do need to make sure that your wiring is ready for it you know some of them require neutrals and things like that but um, they have some really really cool devices um, I also have the hub uh, which makes it work better as well and there's a whole sort of thing so you kind of fall in love with this type of technology but I love smart lighting Smart lighting is just really, really nice. A, because you can get really precision with the dimming, but also because it's voice controlled. And why should I go and, and do that? And even when I'm not using smart lighting, I just like, you know, we don't need old switches anymore. But I'm going to give them their shout out because they've been, they're a really good company. And let's hit play. <laughs> It's funny, by the way, when they say this, because I've heard this complaint before that smart bulbs are, you know, you have to replace the bulbs or people are idiots. And I'm like, it never occurred to me by smart bulbs. Never occurred to me by smart bulbs. Um. That's pretty clever. Yeah, I really do like that. I like the idea that it it makes it so you can't use the switch, but then it's a it's a dimmer. It's pretty clever. What's nice about this particular piece of tech, though, is that it it especially is nice because it doesn't it makes it so that you don't have to do anything in wall. That's why they're using the stuff. I just say go for it and just do the in wall. Um, and then the other thing that I like. Smart shades. Oh, if one day if I can afford. Uh, one thing that I also like is that they're doing the the outdoor lighting as well. And again, the more smart lighting. So if you're going to do smart lighting, it's one of the big brands, and it's pretty cool stuff. So uh, big shout out to them. Um, really good stuff. Um, you know, I got no bit of a product to buy these anywhere. All right, next. I received so many emails from this company. When I was going through my emails, I find so many emails from this smart perfume. Ninu, the first smart perfume in the world, brings a fresh breeze into old perfume industry, revolutionizing the world of perfumery with a patent pending innovation guided by an AI perfume master, Pierre, with just a few simple touches on your phone. Tech powered by the mission to make perfume industry greater, greener and user friendlier. Um, I don't know what this means. I, I read their press release. I was hoping there's a video. Let's find out. I have not seen this video yet. So let us together watch the first smart perfume of the world. Um, oh, 44 seconds. Welcome to the perfume future. Elegant Italian design. Ooh. Touch activated. Aren't all perfumes touch activated? Premium eau de perfume. Sustainable refill system. All right. LED ambient light. Patent pending technology. AI supported personalized perfume experience. Perfume reinvented. Seriously, I learned nothing. Um, except that it's got a light and it's smart. <laughs> let's see if there's more. Oh, look, there's a... Let's look at the short brochure first. I'm not the same person every day. So you get to mix perfumes? Um... You, you, um, sensor designed to be in perfect harmony with the user. An electronic micro precision extracting system. How do they tailor your perfume to match your mood and occasion? Are there multiple vials in here? I see two vials. Is it like A and B? I, I am, I am, I am, uh, I'm a 
let's look at the long uh, brochure. All right. For her, for him. Excellent. Go on. Go on. Um, the most important fragrance themselves. They picked only the best eau de parfum. Um, with the first smart perfume in the world, you can be anyone. I could be anyone. Adjust your perfume. Um, how? Custom scent. How? Freight. I. There's nothing that tells you. Th this is this is empty. I mean, I I've done everything I could do to to pitch this product. I've done everything I could do to learn about this product, and they've said nothing. They've left out like all the key words about like what it does and how it does it. But it's it's cool and it has a light. Oof. All right. Um, didn't do a lot of baby tech this year. Um, uh, I figured I should do a little bit of baby tech. Um, this is an intelligent crib that uh, learns the baby's sleep patterns, spots the first signs of wake up, and automatically bounces the baby to sleep along with soothing music. And I'm not laughing out of scoffing. I'm laughing because that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm hoping there's video. Let's let's take a look. I, 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 I just, I'm hoping it really bounces the baby. Oh, it bounces the baby. Oh, it bounces the baby. That is awesome. It even said the world's first, and I'm not angry. Oh, there's a smart baby monitor. All right. It knows when your baby's about to wake up. And then it bounces your baby. That's awesome. I love that. Until somebody hacks it and throws you down. I'm, I, yeah. um, this is pretty awesome. This is this is great. It looks good. It looks simple. Um, lower the bed and use it as a crib. Nice. Oh, look at that. Bassinet or crib. Coconut corn latex bed. <laughs> this is very nice. This is very nice. They're get they're getting a shout out from me. This is one of those cool bits of tech. Um, it's a smart. It's a, it's a, it, it bounces the baby. Smart baby cradle. It's cradle wise. So um, we should we should find how much it costs while we're at it. Right? Why not? All right. Um, schedule demo. Pre-order now. Uh, get two hundred dollars off. Oof! Goes fifteen hundred dollars. All right. So um, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Cradle wise, if I can spell cradle wise. Um, so other than the price tag, which I'm, I'm not, I will be honest with you, I'm not thrilled with $1,500, but maybe that's a good price. I mean, you know what? What is the price of a good night's sleep? All right, that's pretty cool. So neat, neat, good on them. I smiled through the entire video. Uh, I, I'm pretty cool with that. All right, Technovus is something called Me uh, Mejura AI, and it's body measurement solutions for fashion products. And I mentioned... Early on, I liked the one that measured your feet, so I wanted to see this one because it measures the body. I'm a I'm a, a heavier set man, and so if you want things to fit properly, you want to get measured properly. So let's see let's see what they're saying. Mejura AI Body Measurement Technologies, introducing the Mejura AI Pod for retailers and consumers. Thank you. Recalibrated to give seamless body measurements in seconds. The pod connects to the Missouri AI mobile app using low energy Bluetooth. With embedded computing technology, measurement sensors, and rechargeable battery, the Missouri AI pod is lightweight and easy to use. All Wi Fi and internet connection interfaces are disabled in the Missouri AI. Completely preserving your privacy. Missouri AI technology leverages state of the art, cutting edge computing technology, bringing the power of AI to your fingertips. 
Better be a second video. Mozilla AI Pod. Created by Technovus Ideas Laboratory. Great starting point, but now I want to see it in action. Like, I want to see a body being measured. Like, don't... Great you told me about the tech. Great you told me that it was for this consumers. This is the story of three friends. So, uh, I'm replacing the audio right now and speeding up the ad that I'm watching because there was a copyright claim, so I had to edit this. So, what you're watching right now is this really weird story about somebody using an app to order materials online and their friend orders materials online, but they don't use the app and she doesn't tell her and she does. And then they go to the store to return the materials and the other one has a friend and they tell her how to use it in the store and the other one doesn't. They don't show anything. They just talk about how cool it is to have tech and how cool it is to not tell your friends about it. So I have no idea how this stuff has worked back to the regular recording copyright free. All right, so this is the retail pod. I, I, I wish there was more. Um, I wish there was there was more information here. Um, I would have liked to have seen this a little bit more. In you know what? Let us take a look at the. Um, let's take a look at the brochure and see if maybe there's a little bit more information about how this works. I want to see better pictures, and there isn't. All right, cool concept, but you know, a little bit of a don't look this way is not good for me. All right. Next, oh, I'm rolling. Hairmax, the pioneer of laser regrowth, uh, uh, hair regrowth technology. I've seen a lot of these before. They have the laser combs and the laser bands and the laser caps, but apparently they have the PowerFlex, which is a wireless red LED, and it stimulates hair growth. And apparently, it's it's real. It, um, there you go. So um, the PowerFlex 272 cap is the ultimate in hair regrowth. And you know what? I'm telling you folks, PowerFlex, you mail me one, I will I will try your hair max product out until I got a big bushy thing of hair. Um Yeah, why why they got a guy with hair showing me about this this stuff? I do like the baseball cap. I I've always thought it to be a little bit funny. Yes, do you think she, okay. FDA cleared, clinically proven, no asterisk. All right. 15 minute treatment three times a week. All right, so it's on you how often you use it. It grows your hair back. Wouldn't know what to do with it. Do you think that guy, it grew his hair back? They never show short, fat, bald guys in these commercials. No true before and afters, but that's um, let's let's take a look. I'm actually not as as down on these people as as you would think. Um, they have they have uh, yeah, hair flip eighty laser cap. All right, that, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, they actually have some pretty good stuff here, by the way, and I'm, I'm not going to knock it. It's what it, it does what it does. But let's find out what it costs. Let's come over here and find out what it costs for me to regrow my hair with red lasers. Mm. All right. Um, let's come over here. Products. PowerFlex. Oops, stop that. Products. PowerFlex laser cap. 272. The big boy. So we're looking at this. We're looking at $1,900. For $1,900, I can have my hair back, um, in theory. All right, that, that's pretty wild. That's pretty cool. What other products do they have? They have the, um, where's the cap? That was the cap. That's the Laser 82 kind of cost. Uh, $800. Oh, no, that's the, the head. That's the laser band. <laughs> so many, so, so many wild stuff going on. This is crazy. So there you go. The Hair Max FDA cleared, clinically proven. And again, my, my best part is there's no asterisk that says, no, it's not. there. Apparently, this really works. So there you go. Hair Max. Uh, if I need to regrow my hair, I don't know. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to lie, but it's just a lot of money, so I'm not going to try it. Next. Sniffy Labs. Sniffy Labs is a startup f focusing on developing pet technology to improve the relationship between human and animal. Our first product is 
Sniffy app is a dog training app that provides customers prof professional on-demand dog training and support for dog owners who lack training experience. So it's your personal dog trainer. So let's see what this is. Is it a network? Is it an app? What do we got? Sniffy, your professional dog training app. Sniffy Labs is focusing on developing pet technology to improve the relationships between humans and animals. Sniffy app is a dog training app that provides customized professional on-demand dog training and support for dog owners who lack dog training experience. It provides tailored dog training plans to teach dog owners how to train their dogs at home and also helps dog owners track their training progress and keep consistent. It's a service. Sniffy Labs uses scientifically proven methods to train dogs and AI technology to create training plans tailored to each. It's a service. I'm okay with that. It's a subscription service. So they've got is a subscription service. I thought it was fifteen dollars a month or like one hundred and twenty dollars a year. It's not bad. And mostly it's an app that gets you to use professional training services. We're doing a lot of these things. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not like ooh right, but that's you know, people want to. They want to be invested in things that will help them keep moving forward. All right. So this company, Liffy, boy, they they emailed me a lot as well. And they say they're the next Nespresso, but for wellness drinks and herbal teas. Now, it's funny because they're not the Keurig, uh, because Keurig, you know, they're the Nespresso for it. Um, and they have a smart wellness system and a smart herbal brewer, proprietary herbal discs. Lots and lots of disposables, probably. But I really, I'll be honest with you, I want to see what they got. So let's take a look at what kind of things they're, 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 they're selling. Let's face it. Ever since moving out, life has only become more challenging. Yet, keeping a healthy lifestyle is still my number one goal. There's the pod. It's brewing the, whatever it's brewing. I can handle all my wellness needs without Lifey. muscle at just a sip away. Lifey, your wellness companion. I care about how you look on the outside, but have you ever considered what goes on inside of your body? We all have bad skin days. Puffiness and cysts are our worst enemies. Barely have two products. But I have found out that the key oh. to beauty inside out is regulating your body and cleaning up its toxins. Lifey provides 100% natural herbal remedies. All right, so they're selling, they're selling a brewer and all the things that go into it. It's a coffee pot, but it's for tea, and for okay, there you go. So now the big question is, how much? I mean, that's the thing for all these products. You know, before you want to sit here and kind of scoff at them, you're gonna go, what are you really charging me here? So let's come over here and shop now. Two. Oh wait a second. <laughs> oh my God, I was like two thousand dollars. I don't know how much uh, 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 HKD is in um, in the USD, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up right now. Um, uh, we're we're in English, right? Right. I am in English, right? So what is what is uh, what is uh, HKD to USD? HKD, HKD. Use my phone to USD. So uh, let's say, oh, not not a lot. So if I were to type in two thousand uh, dollars, two thousand Hong Kong dollars is two hundred fifty-seven American dollars. So this is three hundred dollars. Okay, that's a lot different. Ooh, I mean, last year I saw that that uh, if you watched my last year videos, I saw that thing that turns takes oxygen into the water, and it was like I think it was like two thousand dollars. So you you can be surprised. So there you go. So two there it is. So three hundred dollars. And there's a subscription, and I'm assuming that they're going to try to sell you different things. But there you go. It's brew and sip. Uh, tubes. Okay, cool. There it is. I, I'm not in love. I'm not hating it either. I'm just. It is what it is. Uh oh. Tour box. One last thing uh, before we get to the innovation awards. I own. I have one over here. I literally own a tour box. Um, this was a Indiegogo. 
Um, I, I did it. I, I love this device. I don't use it all the time. Uh, what it is, it's it's a little device with buttons and twirls. And if you're an art person, you can program everything to do everything you want. It's just one of those things that makes your life easier. It's just a customize anything you want. And it's funny because remember I said uh, in uh, I didn't I was a little bit weary about uh, customizations because it can sort of make you dependent on them. This one's a little bit different. This one really allows you to do anything you want, and it's a really cool device. And uh, wait, do they have a video? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna show the video because it's 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 pretty cool tech. And again, I have one, so. Um, and you, it's it's just, and it's heavy, because you want it to be. It's heavy. You put it on the table. It does not move. Um, really nice, really nice. Look at that. Let's look at that. I love that. If you're a, if you're if you're working in, in specialized software and you need specialty controls, this is one of those things where it's just like the tablets in one hand and the controls are in the other. It's very very nice. Also, do a good job of demoing it. I got no hate for this product whatsoever. I like the people. I like the way the product. I'm gonna add it to my list of cool things. Is it new? No, it's a couple years old now. But what ends up happening is is it becomes really reliable, and that's why people. That's why they're out here. Like, you know, first they were an Indiegogo, then they were like, we're a real company, and now they're like, and we have a real product. Um, and look at that, uh, Toolbox 2020, $169. That is not bad at all. Let's come over here and add it to my cool things. Again, I bought one when I was an early adopter of it when it first came out, and I think it is awesome. All right, so how are we doing? Well, we're down to the home stretch. I, I've decided not to go through Twitter and look at other people's feeds. Instead, what I'd like to do is, and I'm going to miss some of these things. Normally, at CES, there's there's um, all sorts of floors that you walk around, and there's uh, there's the, the in, there's all sorts of things, the startups and all that type of stuff. But one of the things that you can go and see is the Innovation Awards. And there are Innovation Awards, obviously, spread throughout, and everyone's really proud of their Innovation Awards, you know, sitting there showing people their Innovation Awards. But there's one hall that you can walk in, and you can see them all on display. And then you later on go and try to look at them. And it's kind of weird, because when you start walking through and you're like, oh, my God, iMore Inc. won three Innovation Awards for their headphones. And you're like, must know something I don't know. Um, I won't necessarily know what any of these things are, and, and no offense to CES, if I do, let's say, want to learn more about the entertainment, not, not this one, let's just keep going through, um, let's just find one I want to look for, right, so la 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 la, a, 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 so far nothing that I want to see, um, a hydro power speaker, no, and, oh, here's one, analog pocket, this is a gaming device, so if I go, go right click on here and say open link in new tab, and it's going to show me uh, that it's an honoree, and it's analog pocket is a multi-video game system, portable handheld. And that's it. Like, there's nothing for me to click on. There's nothing for me to do. Like, all I get is the plaque, and that makes no sense. I want a link somewhere. But it's cool. Um, so that's why I say these for last, because I knew that there wasn't a lot to go on here. It's more about, look at this cool thing. So look at this cool thing. And let's kind of go through and see if there's anything that jumps out. Again, I, I'm not overly concerned because I've kind of scrolled down. Look, Asus has a keyboard and some other stuff, but uh, and there's an indoor camera. So let's kind of scroll down and see if there's anything that really jumps out as, wow, I've never seen that before. And uh, I think I've already done a lot of these things, so I'm not really too worried, but I'll keep scrolling and see if there's something that's, that's – uh, Ooh, there's the body friend. That's nice. Um, breathings. What is this thing? Breathings. Let's come over here and learn more. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. It's the world's first device that suggests the customized breathing exercise guidance for users by measuring and analyzing their lung capacity. Well, that's interesting. That's nice. Problem is, when I hit back, it's going to start me all over again. So I want to make sure I right-click and not do that because I keep having to load things. 
All right, let's see if there's anything else we can see here that is interesting. And what's funny about looking at this, there's something very, very familiar. When you're walking around the Innovation Awards, you're always like, it's behind glass, it's too backlit. It's sort of like, oh, I guess I'm going to go see that on the floor. I guess I have to go see that somewhere else. And it's kind of funny because they've mirrored that experience on this web page, where if I want to see it, I'm going to have to go to another web page to see it better. Um, and again, I want to see if there's anything that really really uh, jumps out at me um, that I haven't seen before. Uh, there's the Wow Cube again. Again, love the Wow Cube. Um, it was so nice because they just followed me on, on YouTube, and I appreciate that. Uh, Dell has won a bunch of awards for their, their computers. D-Link. Dracula Technologies. So I will admit, I kind of, I saw this one earlier, and I was just like, what the heck is Dracula Technologies? So what's neat about this is, is that it's an organic photovoltaic technology which powers the next generation of indoor devices. And so what you're looking at is is that basically you don't want to put batteries in things, you don't want to plug them in. So it's kind of like a solar cell, uh, but it's it's using the ambient the light that's already in the room. And because it's organic and it's like a solar cell, it's they're calling it Dracula Technologies. So I give them credit. That's pretty damn funny. All right. Um Let's take a look. Keep going. Keep going. You see why? Okay, there's IQ. We saw that. Embodied. That's another sort of ro robot. Um, there's a sleep trainer, apparently for babies. Uh, there's the ghost on sink shower, which we looked at a little while ago. Um, uh, what do we have here? We have a premium high performance turntable. Ooh, those are nice. Um, we've got some speakers. See, I'm looking at these things, and I'm like, all right, this is you know, straightforward. Excuse me. <laughs> you got headphones, you got speakers, you got regular stuff. This is this is nothing that I'm like, ooh, ooh, wait a second, hydrate. By hi hydrate. Let's come over here and look them up. Let's come over here. Hydrate. What do we got here? One exhibitor. Hydrate spark. See, now you see how I'm doing it. So let's come over here and take a look. That one seemed interesting. Um, yes, you can have my information. As I roll my eyes. Yeah, I said you can have my information. You can log me in already. And add to my show. So what do we have here? This is a smart water bottle that tracks your water intake and syncs to a personalized hydration app and glows to remind you to stay hydrated. Um, this is one of those things where it's a little bit of social engineering. Like, you know, let's take a look at this. It's a... Um, Let's try to train you a little bit. It's a good water bottle. It's a water bottle that reminds you to drink. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think that's pretty neat. I do. I need to know how much it costs. Um, no, no, I don't. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what else do we got? Um, do do do. Nothing. HP, HP, HP. A lot, a lot of Hewlett Packard here. HP has their own uh, augmented and virtual reality headset. That's interesting to see HP jumping into the mix. Um, Hyper fine portable MRI. Wow, MRI. That's neat. A portable MRI. That's pretty cool. What else they got? Um, more headphones. Fitness. John Deere has a robotic combine. Those are pretty awesome, by the way. They're really big when they're at the show. Um, got some digital imaging technology by Kando. That's pretty neat. Again, nothing that's making me go, must stop and look. That's what I'm, I'm looking for here. LG, LG, LG. Dual water purifier. All right, let's keep going. I think it's alphabetical, so at least we know where we're at. Um, Lorex fusion recorder. Loose cannon wearable technologies. Lofty clock. Mm -hmm. MSI's got a whole bunch of computer accessories. All right, so what do we got? Phone sanitizer. E-fitness bike. 
This is this is computer. This is consumer electronics. That's why I'm ending like with this. Let's kind of go through it all and see what do we have. Uh, exhale wearable technology. Orcam. What's Orcam? Do I know this one? Let's come over here and look at that. I think I know this one. Orcam. Uh oh. So here's the thing. Th they're not an exhibitor. So if I come over here and uh, if I come over here and say learn more, you're going to find there's nothing to look up. Uh, it empowers people of reading challenges with seamless audio text playback. It's a handheld device that reads text aloud from any printed surface in real time. That's nice. I've seen I actually I have seen some of these before, and the idea is that you can scan across and it it, it does that. That's pretty cool. An AI reader for people that need to be read to. That's cool. I like that. All right. That's cool. I like that. All right. What else do we have here? Um, bah, 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 bah. Owl Labs Whiteboard. Owl Labs Connect. Um, wow. Not, 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 again, we've already looked at some of these things, which is the cool thing is we've already looked at a lot of these things. Um, all right, what else are we looking at? We're getting down to the queues. Rico has their uh, direct printing. Razer has their um, their their Razer Kishi for iPhone, which is a cool little uh, app app that you can uh, device for controllers. Ooh, um, what's the Roly Lumi keys? Let's take a look. R O L I. Let's see if there's a, we got, let's see if they have. Oh, they're not there. So we have to come over here and. Learn more the hard way. All right. They make piano learning fun. Um, all right. So it's just a little, little piano. All right. That's cool. Nothing great. Now, Royal, I'm sure I pronounce it properly. I always pronounce it uh, improperly. Let me actually see if they've got a booth here because they they don't. I spell it right? Yeah. They almost always have a booth. And... The last few years, they've been talking about sending me really cool stuff. They never send it, by the way. Uh, they've been selling the they they have the flexible uh, uh, phone screens, which is cool. They actually can bend LEDs, but they also have some really cool smart notebooks. And they have a, a head mounted display for viewing, and I hate it. The head mounted display for viewing, I don't like the optics in their devices, but I really do like their curved screens and some of the other cool things they've come up with. All right, Samsung. We can go through Samsung. Though the future is Samsung, right? Look at all these Samsung awards. It's like they just come here to win. Lots and lots of awards. There's the Satisfier. Uh, more more uh, uh, sex wellness tech. Seagate. There's a, a couple of nice looking segues. And let's see what else we got. Um, all right. Another flex. That's the same one as before, probably. Different brand or different way of looking at it. And of course, Sony's here with all their good stuff. And um, I think we're going to hit the end of this. I don't think there's a lot here that I'm looking for. So you can see why I didn't do it early on. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we're running to the end. I don't see anything that I desperately need to come over and play with. So um, I'm going to write around 45 minutes again, which is where I like to be. I'd like to thank you if you ended up watching these 10 episodes. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm going to be going back and editing some of my previous year's um, CES videos into larger clumps instead of just the one and two and three minute clips I have put traditionally on Instagram. Harder to get back to them that way. So I'll put them onto YouTube. So please make sure you subscribe. As I've been doing these videos, I've been kind of looking around the house. I have a lot of the products that are out here. And it's weird because, you know, you think about the stuff as being cutting edge. But cutting edge can be still one, two, and three years. You might find something that was like the year it came out, nobody wanted it. And then you know, two years later, it's like, look at that crazy thing. And you're like, dude, I've had that for two years already. So we're going to do some more reviews. If there's anything that you'd like to see me review or talk about, even if you're not the manufacturer, message me. Go ahead and send me a message about the kind of things you'd like to see me review or talk about. I'm, I'm always up for requests. You see the channel. It's filled with a variety of things. I like to talk about tech. I like to talk about uh, arts. I like to talk about a lot of things. I like to do training videos. Uh, so please subscribe, um, share, like. And again, uh, by all means, uh, 
put in the comments, uh, say some things, be nice, whatever. Uh, I really hope CES, first of all, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. I hope uh, by next year we're all vaccinated and that this virus is mostly behind us. I know it's going to take a while before everyone gets right back on their feet, but the Consumer Electronics Show is really something special in person between the people. I, again, I can't imagine that people are going to want to be as crowded. I think it's probably going to be a smaller Consumer Electronics Show next year, or it's going to be a mellower Consumer Electronics Show next year. Maybe I'll say it that way. But I would love to be back in Vegas looking at these toys, you know, really sit, putting my hands on these things, seeing what innovations that people are coming up with, and, and really kind of seeing if they make sense, if they there's a really application for it. Um, usually my next trade show is the, is the Game Developers Conference. I can't imagine that they're going to have that again this year. I can imagine that we're still going to be delayed there as well. The world will return to normal. We will all get together. We will start seeing each other in person. Eventually we'll do it, but right now we're not. So I'd like to thank you for indulging me in, in these videos. I really do hope you've enjoyed them. And please, by all means, give me some feedback. I did 10, oh my God, 10 episodes. So there's a lot of information here. And uh, I'll be... Um, I'll be doing more. All you got to do is tell me what you want to see. Again, my name is Jared Bendis, and I really thank you for watching. Bye-bye.